What's up, y'all sports? Docs here with another episode of Hidden Gem. You guys didn't seem to like my last episode, probably because he wasn't skilly or he wasn't quick or whatever, so I decided to go for a right midfielder who has four star skills and he is pretty quick too. So this is my player, he is called Song. He plays uh, in the French Division 2, which is League 2. Uh, he plays for a club called Tours FC. He's right midfielder, he's silver and he's South Korean as well. This guy is incredibly cheap for what he gets. He costs no more than 500 coins in your formation. He is fantastic and the, the definition of hidden gem. He, he is brilliant. And I really enjoy playing with this guy, of course, mainly because he has four star skills. And that is an incredible asset for me and, of course, many FIFA players now that he can be able to do the skills, most of the skills on the game, without doing the uh, incredibly advanced tricks. But, you know, your Ronaldo chops, your Berber spins, they're really useful to have. And he's just a fantastic finisher, really composed, and he's just a fantastic right midfielder all round. You know, he's got everything you want. He's, he's really pacey. He's, he's not incredibly pacey, don't get me wrong. He's not your kind of Marvel win types, but he is really quick. And he's a bit of a dead ball specialist, I must admit. Fantastic free kick there. I scored two free kicks with him, uh, and I've only played about 10 games with him too. Uh, you know, he gets most of his free kicks on target. That was perfect, inch perfect. And with penalties, like I said, he's rather composed. You know, he always seems to hit him in the right spot. No chance for the goalkeeper every single time. Uh, he's not too bad from range either. You know, you can hit him uh, pretty well from outside the area. <clears throat> not amazing, of course. No Giovanni, a FIFA 11 type player, but um, still a good player nonetheless. But of course, if you are a winger that doesn't use your skills, and you just want a winger that can cross the ball in. He's good with that as well. Like I said, he's got the pace down the uh, the right hand side, and he's got a decent cross on him, a decent bit of curve. So if you want to put some deadly crosses into the box, and you want to play like a regular FIFA player, he can do that. He can find your man with ease. And like I said, there, you know, he's he's really good when it comes to speed, and really good when it comes to crossing. So he, he's a very very good player all round. You know, whether you're a skiller, whether you're a regular FIFA player. He can suit both needs. He really is a fantastic little player to have in your t uh, in your team. Very skillful there. But um, of course, in the last two um, episodes, I did give some players for these to give away. I've got uh, I think I've got none of these to give away, unfortunately, because uh, the player is incredibly cheap. He's not going to rise in price. Don't worry. Um, and unfortunately, I've got no coins uh, with me right now, so I can't unfortunately give you any uh, songs to give away. But I would definitely, definitely, definitely advise picking this guy up because even if his price does rise to about a thousand coins, he is definitely worth it. I mean, he is incredible. He is so skillful. He really is uh, quite fast down the right hand side, and he's just an absolute joy to play with. So if you do want to pick him up, don't forget the information I gave you at the start of the episode. Go and watch it if you can't remember who he plays for and where he plays or whatever. But yeah, guys, that is the end of the episode. I hope you've enjoyed this. As you see a long range strike going in here. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. Hope you do go and pick up Song. He is absolutely fantastic. And right now we do have three players in our Yao Sports Hidden Gem team. Thanks for watching this episode, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. And the next time I'll have a left midfielder. Yao's.